I'm Lachlan Wilson, I'm the CTO and co-founder of Fove Inc. and we're making a virtual reality head mount display with inbuilt eye tracking. Talk a little about what separates Fove from all the other VR headsets we see. So that's uh, quite simple. Our eye tracking solution is unique to us. So we're building our entire headset around the idea of knowing where the user is looking. What does that open up from a gameplay perspective? So things like eye contact, simulated depth of field, user interfaces that respond like in Iron Man, so Jarvis for example. Um, games where you can replace the mouse, essentially do quick, quick reaction, quick shooting, just using your eyes in a controller, for example. Are you guys set up to work with any specific type of controllers within video games? We can generally use any controller that you can just integrate into a normal game. So we haven't got any specific inter integration with a controller yet, but um, we work with, say, your Xbox controllers, your PlayStation controllers, anything you can plug into a PC. What about any types of controls where people can actually see their hands or have some type of hand controls? Absolutely. Integration with that, that would be a developer issue, but of course we can integrate with that kind of technology because it runs naturally inside the computer environment. So, sorry, I shouldn't say it like that, but uh, when you load up, say, Unity or something like that, you can load the plug-in for your hand controllers, you could load the plug-in for our eye controllers. They'll work together really well. When it comes to what you guys are showing here, give us a, an example of some of these demos. Sure. So the demo that's behind us right now is our Cyclops, well, it's our shooting demo. You're shooting things down with a laser eyes. Uh, we do this to show off the speed and uh, accuracy of the technology. So we're showing that it's not only just tracking your eyes and like knowing where you're generally looking, it's actually accurate enough to use as an effective gaming tool. How easy would it be for developers that are already developing for an Oculus or a Morpheus or another platform to work with this one? Fairly easy. So we we offer a drop-in solution in, say, Unity and on, also in Unreal. Um, so we got a blueprint for Unreal and a plug-in for Unity. Drag and drop it in, and you basically just reroute your Oculus controller to ours, and it will work on our content as well. So you'd probably want to have a detection script, work out what's plugged in, what's running, and then decide which one you're using. But it should be very straightforward to translate across. Do you have developers currently working on games? We do, mostly in-house at the moment, because we're not released yet. So we're doing our Kickstarter, we're at 445,000 right now and going up. And uh, we're looking for backers and people who are interested in making content with our, our technology. So there are a lot of applications for it. And I saw this is already definitely going to happen, because you already got past your goal. That's correct. So the, it's already going to happen. The only thing is we've got a stretch goal for Steam's, uh, sorry, Valve's Lighthouse solution, which is a really precise motion tracking solution that we think is uh, one of the very big bright futures of VR. And so that'll work with Steam VR. That's correct. When it comes to when this will be out, what's the timetable? We're currently looking at February for our very early birds and May for the rest, so next year. Where are you guys based? I'm in Tokyo, but our headquarters is San Francisco. So all of our hardware dev happens in Tokyo. Our business stuff happens in San Francisco. And are you guys completely backed by gamers through Kickstarter, or do you also have your own funding? We have additional funding as well. Like, we wouldn't be able to make this kind of product without anything additionally. Like, we've already been around for about a year, and a, well, a year and a bit as a company. Um, and that, of course, required money. So we had some initial angel investment. We've just raised another small round, and we're probably going to do a Series A or something like that after Kickstarter. What impact has things like Facebook buying Oculus and Sony and uh, Valve and HTC all getting involved in VR done for you guys as a company? Well, it certainly makes, like, it's very interesting because it, it means that VR is big business, right? But it also makes people apprehensive because there's a lot of money around in that industry right now. So, like, if you're going to back, like, a competitor, you're going to be throwing down with Facebook. Now, is that something they want to do or not? But it's not really a throwdown. Like, we're really more of a working together. We're all trying to build the virtual reality revolution, try and make it work. And we're just bringing in, say, like, hey, guys, you're missing this. And here's our technology, and we're showing people what eye tracking can do in VR.